What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to be quickly checking our VVT. Uh, in the last video we did the coolant after I started it. Uh, Phil said that he thought he could hear the VVT hitting the, the uh, valve cover. So we're actually gonna take the valve cover off and check for any scratches or any signs that it is actually hitting the valve cover, which would mean that it would be loose. Um, so we're gonna give it a quick check. Shouldn't take too long, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. And let's get right to it. That rhymed. <laughs> so first things first, if you have a tall mount intercooler, you're gonna wanna take that off. It's just a few bolts holding it down, just two connectors to the throttle body and one to the turbo. Uh, so you're gonna wanna take that off, but I have a front mount, so all you really needed to take off or just move out of the way, you just need to take this one off and you should be able to just move it right out of the way. So, should be able to just turn it. And then, just take the hose off so it's out of your way. Make it easier for you. Right over here, you're gonna wanna take this off, this hose, and that's gonna be an eight millimeter. All right, now that that is off, you're gonna wanna take off your coils, your coil packs. Uh, and these are also eight millimeters. There's just one bolt holding each one on. So you can see here, you're gonna to wanna to take this bolt off. Uh, it's, just, it's a bracket for this wiring harness. And then you're gonna to wanna to take this off as well. That's actually a 10 millimeter. Oops. You're just gonna take this clip off. Just push the tabs in and then it'll push right out. And then you'll be able to swing this little bracket off, put that aside, then unplug this, and then you can be able to swing this out of your way, just so it's not catching on anything. Right over here, if you just get a small flathead, you'll be able to pry this off and just break this wire free so you can kind of swing it out of your way. Okay, you don't wanna like force it off in case any bolts are still in there, but it should come right out. And you have your gasket, and you can see. Ah, nice. Yep, we need a new VVT. Fuck. <laughs> <sighs> Dude. Okay, let me uh, 101. This, you should not be able to do that. That VVT is bad. Like, I don't think I'm gonna be bad driving this car until I get this fixed. Holy shit, guys. That's terrible. Uh, and then you can see on the valve cover, you can see here, there's scratches. Uh, that's from the chain hitting the valve cover. So Phil, you were correct. It was hitting the valve cover. And looks like I need a new VVT, guys. So that just sucks. But uh, time for built motor? I don't know. But yeah, guys, this is just, it should not do that. So now you guys know, check for wear marks on your valve cover. And if you hear some rattling when you start your car for like five seconds about, um, it's most likely the VVT. So be sure to check it because you don't want to blow your engine up. But uh, looks like I'll be doing that in the near future. So uh, some bad news, but now you know, at least we know we're not going to keep driving it with a bad VVT. Um, so, looks like we'll have a VBT video coming soon, guys. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But otherwise, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.